Let's bring in on the phone Florida Senator uh, Republican Marco Rubio. Uh, Senator Rubio, thanks for joining us. Your reaction? It's, uh, I mean, they just elected Donald Trump president. So politically, I think it's good. I think, unfortunately, they've made a travesty, a mockery of our criminal justice system. I think all over the world right now, they're watching news reports and they're saying, what America's turned into us, meaning these third world countries, these dictatorships, these crazy places. I mean, I don't know what I can add to what people have already seen. You literally have a judge that supported Joe Biden in 2020. He supported him. His daughter makes money off political campaigns on the far left. A jury pulled from one of the most liberal counties in America. A prosecutor that basically ran on the promise that I'm going to get Trump. I don't know what I'm going to get him on yet, but I'm going to get him on something. Charges that basically turned a misdemeanor into a felony uh, by tying it. We don't know yet what the fight is because they introduced a new crime at, uh, in the jury instruction saying, well, and by the way, in addition to the federal election interference, which he was never charged with, you can also tie it as a felony. You can also turn it into a felony by tying it to some tax law in New York, something he, that they never mentioned throughout the entire trial. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Um, I think it's terrible. I think what this showed today is that if they can go after a former president with a ridiculous charge like this and gain a conviction, uh, they can go after anybody. And most people can't afford to fight this stuff off. So I think the shock, and I just heard, I'm not sure that was Byron York or who that was on the air, was just a second ago saying about the shock. The shock is not yeah, about the week. Yeah, so I, I think he's right. I mean, there's, the shock is not that they went after him. They've been doing this against Trump for seven, eight years. The shock is that this could happen in America. I grew up listening to people tell me about show trials and things that happen in Cuba. This is a show trial. This is like a Roman Coliseum with a – listen, I, I, had, I was in a place – CNN was on television when the verdict came in. You could literally hear one of the people on the panel, they were off camera, sort of shriek with joy. Uh, that, that's, the, that's the crowd in the Coliseum cheering, cheering you know, the, the, the kill them, kill them. I mean, that's, this derangement has poisoned American politics, and the harm this has done today – our system of justice is terrible. You know, for Trump, he just raised fifty, sixty million dollars in thirty minutes when red crashed, uh, outraged supporters, and even people that didn't like Donald Trump are going to say, you know, enough is enough. These people are out of control. But I think for our system of justice and for America, this is an ugly, ugly blemish to our reputation around the world, and frankly, to the faith and confidence a lot of people have in our criminal justice system here in our country. Quickly, Senator, how do you think? In this environment, with this reaction, 34 counts guilty by this jury, and all the reaction that we're seeing pour out, the Biden campaign already saying in New York today, we saw that no one is above the law. How in this environment are we as a country going to come back together? This is going to be a bumpy five months before November I think, 5th. I think, yeah, you know, I think there has to be a point in which we say, look, these people love to talk about rule of law. They have literally manipulated and violated every rule that they can over the last seven years because they think that their hatred for Donald Trump, that he somehow is not worthy of the same protections everybody else is. That's why you try to impeach. They tried to impeach him after he was out of office. Um, they tried to bankrupt the company. They have four charges in four different jurisdictions. Uh, this unequal application of the law, they get away with saying things about him and his family they would never say about other candidates in the past. So I think this is truly, there's a level of derangement here where these people are convinced themselves. They hate him so much. You saw that with De Niro the other day. This guy's, you know, out of his mind. Uh, you know, the way he's acting on the street there in New York, it's a derangement that I think has blinded them to common sense and dignity to the point where I think it's really pushing Americans to these polar opposites. But I do think there's a large number of Americans who didn't follow this trial that are scratching their heads saying, this is too much already. This has gone way too far. I think you're going to see it in the polls. I think you're going to see it in November. I think we saw it already today with the amount of money that came pouring in in the last 30 or 45 minutes.